Hello! Welcome to TrendSpider. My name is Dan, and this is your first video that you're seeing after you log into the platform, and I'm going to use it as an opportunity to show you around the system so you know where all the options are that you might need as you explore our platform. Now, first off, I want to thank you for signing up. You're going to be introduced to one of the most innovative and unique technical analysis tools out there. But like anything, TrendSpider does have a bit of a learning curve and you will do yourself a great service by signing up for training. This video is just going to show you around the interface so you know what your things are, but you still should probably sign up for training so you can learn the ins and outs and get a better sense for the tool. Now, without further ado, I just want to show you around the interface. The first thing you're going to see in your top left is a symbol search box. This is a great tool. It's fully context sensitive. You can type the name of a company. You can type the first few letters of the symbol, you know, first few letters of the Forex pair, and the system will pull it right up for you. It makes it very easy to find the symbol that you're looking for. The next thing you notice to the right of this is this drop down menu here. Now when you first log in, I'm not sure which option is selected, but it'll be one of these. And you can control the number of charts that are on your screen using this menu. I prefer a single chart, so that's what we're gonna use here today. It'll also give you a bigger uh, screen so you can see what I'm doing clearer. Next option is MTFA, and this stands for Multi Time Frame Analysis, and it's one of our most powerful features. And I'll show you all about that in just a few minutes. To the right of that, you're going to see a series of options that are turn on and off on the charts. Automated Fibonacci's are exactly what they sound like. When you turn it on, the system will measure the most recent meaningful move to create a retracement and give you some sense as to how far price may pull back when it retraces. This is very quick and easy, and it saves you the hassle of having to look for that move yourself and measure it yourself. The next option you're going to see, and we're going to talk a lot about this, is called Trends. Now this turns on automated trend lines on your system, and this will work on every chart you have open, and it will automatically analyze each chart to find the most relevant trend lines on that chart at that moment. You can see on SPY here, it's identified this kind of megaphone pattern here, with a top trend line and bottom trend line that are diverging further apart. It's also identified some support. And you'll notice as I flip through the charts, the system will automatically analyze each one of them for me in a split second so I don't have to sit there and squint at this chart and try to figure out where the trend lines are, which ones matter, which ones don't. It's very cool and it's very customizable and that's what I'm going to show you next. To customize how trend lines are detected, you click on the three dots next to the button that turns it on and off. This will give you the option to choose from a variety of different analysis styles. You can customize how the trend lines are drawn, whether they're drawn from the wick to the wick or the high to the lows, or the body open and closes to each other. I like to keep it on wick. You can also select if TrendSpider will ignore or respect gaps in price actions, or as we call them in the software islands. There's a whole area called advanced, and I'm gonna spare that I'm going to save that for a different video down the road, but that lets you get really deep into the weeds and customize just about anything about how trend lines are detected. When you click apply, the system will simply reanalyze the chart you were looking at. And you can see that when I switch the analysis style here, it detected a different pattern on this Amazon chart. This is one of the coolest things about TrendSpider. We do not restrict you to one form of analysis. As a user, as a trader, we know that you may see things you like, see things you don't like. You may want to customize how the system works. This is completely up to you. We recommend you play around with it and experiment. You can't break anything. Now, the next option I'm going to show you is indicators. And indicators you can turn on by clicking on the link, or you can turn on by clicking on the three dots, selecting which indicators you want on your chart. You know, I'm going to add Williams percent here, and by clicking apply. The system will then add the indicators to your screen, just like you would expect them. You'll notice it's blazing fast. And there's a really cool twist with indicators I'll show you in just a moment, but for now, that's enough on them. The next thing that you might want to look at here is candlestick pattern recognition. Now, this is super cool because a lot of traders love candlestick patterns, but finding them is not fun. And if you've ever looked for candlesticks on a chart, you know, that's squinting at the chart and trying to, you know, pick up the three or four candlesticks that you're looking for out of the hundreds of candlesticks that are on the screen is not easy we make it very easy. You can see here I've selected four patterns, engulfing, hanging man, inverted hammers, and then another one. And when I click apply, it'll turn the option on for me. And then it's gonna highlight these for me so I don't have to squint at this chart and try to identify them. You can see this is bullish engulfing right here. This is a hanging man. This is uh, another bullish engulfing uh, configuration here. And what you'll notice is that these are mathematically precise. TrendSpider makes no assumptions like a human might 
it measures the high, the low, the wick length, and all that stuff, and it compares them to the other candlesticks around it for you in split seconds using algorithmic mathematical precision. So you know if it says bullish engulfing, that's a bullish engulfing candlestick. Now, we've talked a lot about you know, each of the features. We haven't talked about MTFA or multi-time frame analysis yet, and that's for a good reason. This option is unique because it applies to other indicators or analysis methods on the chart. So I'm going to first turn on indicators, or I'm sorry, trend lines, and then I'm going to turn on indicators, and then I'm going to turn on MTFA. And what you'll notice happens here is my chart changes. Instead of being daily versus just daily, like a simple chart like you're used to, is now daily versus weekly. And what this means is that two time frames of data are being combined on one chart to give you the ability to see more than just what most people will see. Now, this is manifested by the uh, composition of the line. The solid lines are from your primary time frame. That goes for indicators, that goes for lower indicators, and that goes for trend lines. The dashed indicators, trend lines, and lower indicator lines are from your secondary time frame. And a great way to illustrate this is just to change the accent, which just highlights one of the lines or the other. Here we've highlighted the secondary time frame. Here we've highlighted the primary. So you can see very clearly which lines are from which time frame. And I prefer both, so I'm going to go back to that setting. Now, what's super cool about this is I'm looking at two different time frames of data. I'm looking at you know all this information. And from this very view, I can create meaningful alerts that work the way I want them to. You know, in most trading platforms, when you create an alert, you create an alert at a fixed price level. Alert me when Amazon trades at $1,300 a share. We know that that's not how price moves. You know, price follows trend lines. Indicators have some kind of role in price movements. You know, it's much more dynamic than a horizontal price level most of the time. And TrendSpider lets you act on that knowledge. Now, we have all this stuff going on here. So I'm just going to turn off trend lines. I'm going to clean up the indicators because most traders don't have that much on their screen. And you know what we have here is Amazon daily with the weekly Bollinger Bands on the chart. And let's say that my strategy is to buy Amazon when price bounces off this lower Bollinger Band again. And remember, this is a weekly Bollinger Band. All I have to do to get an alert when that happens is create an alert at that line by right-clicking on it. When I do this, I can then configure what type of events I want to be alerted on. And I can control both the sensitivity of that alert. You can see when I move this up, the thickness of this line goes up. I've now switched it to within $39. That's a big range, but even, even for Amazon, but just to illustrate how this works to you. And I can also control how quickly this alert fires. So I can choose a different time frame candlestick to wait for a close on before my alert triggers. And this will keep me from getting faked out by a long tail or something like that. And then I can leave myself a note say bb lower support and a comment should i want to which says maybe a buying up now this is long-term trends you can do this with shorter trends i'm looking at daily versus weekly so i'm going to make this alert live for a while for a whole month 30 days and i have this alert trigger as many times as it goes off you know i have two events and it may bounce more than once so i'm just going to set that up like that that's all i have to do now TrendSpider will monitor this chart for me and when my conditions are met, it will alert me on my phone, on my screen, and through an email. Now, just I just want to highlight that this was a weekly trend or indicator line that I drew, created this alert on, and I did that from the daily chart, and my alert fires on the 10-minute time frame, which means I've put three different time frames into action in one trade setup. Now, I could also um, set up an alert on this middle Bollinger Band, I can say just a touch or a bounce. I can make this pretty sensitive. I can create a 10-minute time frame for the confirmation on that. You know, I can say middle BB, maybe sell. And I can also have the system watch this for a while. And you'll notice I can do this very quickly, as many times as I want. And this system will now create a kind of channel using these Bollinger Bands to alert me on as price interacts. And it doesn't have to come exactly up to that, and it doesn't have to be some fixed price level that I have to manually adjust. The system will follow the waveform of these indicators for as long as this alert is active. I wanna highlight that alerts work on not just indicators, you can create alerts on trend lines the same exact way. You can, you can create multiple alerts on one symbol, you can use different time frames. 
you can configure these quite dynamically to match whatever your trading style is. And this is great because it keeps you from trading out of boredom. It keeps you, um, you know, it keeps you honest with your own rules and it makes it easier for you to time your trades better without having to stare at the charts like a zombie all day. Now that's just a very small taste of what TrendSpider can do. This is a complicated tool, has a lot of great capabilities. We hope that you sign up for some training to get the most out of it. It's free and you can do it anytime by clicking on your name on the top right and going down to schedule training. When you do that, you'll be given the option to choose any different time frame that works for you. There's lots of them. You can schedule it you know, when it's convenient for you and get one-on-one -on -one time with a TrendSpider experienced trader to show you more about how these options work and how to really customize a system to really match your trading style and save you time and help you make better trading decisions. For now, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for signing up for TrendSpider. Let us know if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, and have a wonderful day.